Hello, and welcome back to my kitchen. If you've never been here before, I am Megan Jade. I make random YouTube videos about whatever I feel like, and I typically post them up on Wednesday. First things first, if you hear a loud sound like a jet engine taking off, that's just my fridge. No need to panic. Okay, today, well, we're in the kitchen, so we're cooking something, and uh, it's pretty exciting. I've seen this before, but I've never actually bought one, and then I had a pretty poopy week, so I was just browsing on Amazon, and it came up, and it was affordable, and I was like, I'm gonna fill my heart with joy, so I bought it, and that would be the baby cakes mini donut maker. So we're gonna test this bad boy out. That's what's going down today. So I am all set to do this. I've got my icing for the top. It was supposed to be pink, but I grabbed purple by accident. So now it's purple. We got some shredded coconut, powdered sugar, and miniature marshmallows. How can you go wrong? So first things first, I'm the realist, but also we gotta open up the box. And we are going to be using some PC Old Fashioned Chocolate Donut Mix because I don't want to attempt to make my own donut mix because one, I'm lazy, and two, it just seems too complicated. Read all instructions before using. We probably won't, but okay. Oh, why would you, you know, I'm going to have to cut that off. They put the thingy, but why? Something to do with safety, but oh, it's annoying. So I'm gonna do that first so that I don't forget and try and shove it into the outlet. Oh, it's so pretty! There's the instructions, we don't need this box anymore. We're just gonna put it there. Um, put the instructions down. We got two pieces of styrofoam. And then we have this lovely bag that covers up the, oh my God, it's so tiny and cute. And then we put, I'm so little, look at it, look at it. Okay, so we take out that paper. You don't want to burn that. It smells electrical. Do we lock it? Oh, we lock it. It has a, cool. Baby Cakes Donut Maker in Instructamundos. Read all instructions. Do not touch hot surfaces with any handles or knobs. Parts become hot during using. Really? No way. To protect against the electrical shock, do not place the core of the plants in the water with the liquid. Okay, that makes sense. Don't don't put it in the water. Appliance should not be used by children. That is just a bummer. Do not leave the plants unattended while in use. Unplug from outlet when not in use before cleaning. Allow to cool before cleaning. <laughs> General guidelines for cooking is three to five minutes per batch. And then there's some like recipes, but we're not going to use that because I bought a mix. So that's that's don't really need those. I uh. Give it a wipe down to get all of the new plastic residue and whatever that was on it that you probably shouldn't eat off of it. Now we're gonna mix up this donut mix. And that's the French side. Now we got our donut mix. Holy smokes that we need one cup of vegetable oil. That is a lot of vegetable oil. That is not the right drawer. This is the right drawer. That is a one cup measure. Okay, I guess it doesn't really say how to mix it up, so I guess we're just putting all of the stuff into the bowl and then whipping it up. Well, it doesn't smell very good, but okay. And there we go. <coughs> I need some hail flour. Uh, we're going to start with one friggin' cup of vegetable oil. That is a lot of vegetable oil. Like, it's an alarming amount of vegetable oil, but here we go. And we're still going, because it's one cup. That's a lot of vegetable oil. These are gonna be not so healthy. Oh my god, it's still going. Okay, uh, and that's a cup. That is a lot of vegetable oil, and I just slop some on the counter. That's gonna be crappy for me later, but that's okay.
We need a half a cup of milk. That is still the wrong drawer. Lived here for almost two years and I still can't get the drawer right. So then we get our milk. Just gonna go half a cup on this guy. The two eggs. They're not rotten. It's good because they're within expiry, so they should not be. Now we mix. Still doesn't smell very good, but maybe once it's mixed, it'll smell better. Still doesn't smell very good. It doesn't smell like rotten, it just smells bland. So I'm hoping that these will actually taste good and uh, not be a giant letdown. That will be our mix, so we no longer need this box. We are going to untie this cord and then throw that over there. We're going to plug it into the outlet. The red light has illuminated. That's very exciting. I'm going to lock that and we're going to let it heat up for, I think the instructions said three to five minutes. So we'll just wait until the light goes off and that's probably about right. It smells very electrical and it's making a sizzling sound. Oh, there was a little bit of water left from when I uh, cleaned it. So that makes sense. Oh, that really smells electrical. <coughs> the light just clicked off, which I think indicates that it is ready. It's nice and hot, I can tell you that much. I don't know if I'm supposed to spray it. I'm gonna spray it. I'm gonna use a ladle, because that seems like the most logical thing to fill it up with. This is gonna get really messy, I feel. Yep, it's gonna be messy. Um, mm. Probably should have read the instructions a little bit more, but you know, I like to live dangerously on the edge. Because I'm sure there would have been some tips and tricks of how to fill these properly, but we're just gonna wing it. Because that, that is what we do best. I feel like this is probably gonna go absolutely everywhere, but you know what? Let's just, let's just go for it. Now we wait three to five minutes. Not too sure how this is gonna turn out. I think I overfilled the thingies. I'm thinking about using this measuring cup on the next round. Here it sizzle, baby. We're making donuts. We're gonna pop it open and see what horror rate waits us. Oh, <laughs> yeah, there was too much batter. <laughs> I'm gonna stick a toothpick in and see. Yep, those are done. Oh, yeah, they just pop right out. Oh, they're cute a little. Look at that. That's extra batter. That's really hot. Um, yeah, I know they're done. Uh, okay, it pops out like that. So we're going to do less batter this time. And there's like extra bits. Ow, it's hot. So it's probably not the best way to take them off there, but you know, we'll let those cool for a minute. Ow. Uh, we'll leave the extras off the side too. So this time I think we will just uh, try this. They don't smell very good. And I think that's just my batter choice, but usually PC doesn't disappoint, but that we'll find out when we taste test it. So we'll do a little less batter this time. Okay. Round two, here we go. I'm gonna taste a little bit of this remnant batter. It's not bad, but it's not really all that great. Maybe it'd be better with toppings. It's just kind of bland. I'm hoping with like the icing, it'll taste a little better. I also should be putting them on a cooling rack, but I don't have one. So we're just not gonna put them on a cooling rack and hopefully they don't get sweaty and soggy. Round two. Less batter, and they look much better. Oh, okay, I'm gonna take one of the cooler ones. They do come out pretty good. Kind of have to push the batter out of the middle, but really cute little. So let's whip up the rest of this batter into a big pile of donuts. 
uh, I overdid it on this round, it, it's coming out the side. That is not what you want to do. You do not want to have it coming out the side. It is just like a frigging volcano. So don't overfill it, because this is what will happen. And that was the last batch. This thing works amazing so far. A uh, very dangerous thing to have in my house. Do wish it was a little bit bigger and it made like six donuts at a time, but that's just my inner fat child. Got a really good pile of donuts. Definitely would not use this batter again because it is way too oily. Like it is disgustingly oily. It is extremely easy to overfill. So I definitely would like uh, maybe a piping bag or something next time to fill the donut things so that you don't overfill it. I think my neighbor's vacuuming, sorry. Yeah, we're gonna pause for a second, my neighbor's vacuuming. Okay, she stopped. So as I was saying, definitely would use a different batter because this one is ridiculously oily. This was just the paper towel that I put all the extra little pieces of the overspill on. Uh, I kept all those pieces and I crumbled them up and I think I'm just gonna use them as the topping. Um, this is my new favorite kitchen appliance. It's amazing. We're going to put that off to the side and let it cool before we clean it. And now we are going to get on to the decorating of the donuts and icing them. Hopefully it makes the batter taste better. So we've got our icing, which we just mixed up again because it kind of got crusty on the top because it was sitting for so long. And then we're going to take our donut and I'm going to make them all different because I like variety. We're going to dip it. Oh, it comes out beautiful. And this one, we're gonna put her down and we're gonna put a few little marshmallows on the top. Okay, the next one, gonna do the same thing, dippity dip. Out she comes. And we're just gonna leave that one plain with icing. This is going to get so messy so fast. Okay, dippity dip. And into the shredded coconut. Boom. Dippity dip. Oh, oh geez. Into the powdered sugar. Sure. Dippity dip. And uh, we'll just throw some crumbs like that on, yeah, sure. Beautiful. Uh, this could take me a minute. I, uh, time lapse. Yeah, this turned into a hot mess, like, really, really quickly. Um, so decorating, not my thing, but uh, let's taste test them, because this is going to be like glue to clean up off my counter. I'm going to go with just a plain old powdered sugar one first. Not bad. The powdered sugar definitely enhances it, but the batter itself isn't very good. But the texture is pretty good for just that little machine making it. So let's go for one that I dipped in icing completely. That was way better. Okay, and now we're gonna try one that I dipped in coconut. 
That one's really good too. It's just the batter is not ideal. It kind of has like a flavorless flavor to it. That makes sense. I kind of gave up on the hot marshmallows because they just went hot messy really quickly. So I'm gonna do the first one I've got here that's like a perfect, oh, the icing is dripping. This is so messy. Do this first one here that has the nice marshmallows on it. Hmm. There's icing dripping onto my hand. I do not like that feeling. I just cleaned this. It was actually pretty easy to clean. You just get a wet sponge and a little bit of dish soap, just like a waffle iron. Uh, the only downside to cleaning it is out my hand. That did not feel nice. Um, is if you have the over spill, it does get into the cracks and it's kind of a little bit difficult to scrape out. I couldn't even get all of it out, which kind of sucks a little bit. But other than that, it is a 10 out of 10 product. And I am so very, very happy that I own this because I'm gonna make donut shaped cake things whenever I want. I just won't use that batter again. I'll use something better like cake mix. Best late night Amazon purchase ever. Thank you for watching. And if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Click that notification bell so you never miss an episode. And of course, subscribe and I'll see you next Wednesday. I have a lot of donuts to eat. I'm going to have to give some of these away. I don't think anyone's going to want them because they're, they're not that great. But I have donuts! Okay, see ya. Bye.